Well, here's something different. Here is an ant colony that I've had for about two years. These are meat ants. Yeah, now <laughs> you can have pet ants. There are a lot of ants in this colony. We're gonna try and find the queen, explain how to keep ants alive. And yes, I do still keep ants, even though it's been like a good eight months or so since I've done an ant video. Anyway, this is one colony of ants. These are meat ants, which are the really cool purpley type ants you see in those giant gravel mounds if you live in Southeast Queensland. They're pretty much all over Australia, but mostly on the Southeast coast. Yeah, now all these are connected, like the little tiny tanks are connected with tubing that goes absolutely everywhere. There's custom made nests. And if we take that up like that, there are ants going, what are you doing? There are some little tiny larvae. So obviously there's one queen somewhere in here. If we find the queen, she is huge compared to the rest of the ants. And all the queen does is lay eggs and the workers go into the little outworlds and they'll eat food like that creepy looking mouse thing. That's actually a rat, a defrosted rat. Ew, you say, yes, I know. Well, they need protein for the eggs or for the larvae. So when the eggs turn into little wiggly larvae, but the adults don't actually eat protein or anything like that. They have sugar water, they have honey and they drink water. So yeah, because all these are connected up and we will go back to that little nest and find the queen. Yeah, we add honey to different areas. If we can zoom in there, there is a drop of honey and those girls are all eating the honey. Now that's another thing, all these ants are girls. So because it's about two year colony, I think in another year or so, they're gonna develop flying males and flying females. That's the only time the colony develops males. So all these are girls, girl workers, and girls that look after all the eggs and everything like that, and there we go see if I can hold the camera still because we are zoomed in a fair bit. There's some workers playing with their babies and they're going to move them from different areas to different areas. Yeah. <laughs> now these have added all this dirt to this little fornicarium which is just a little nest and the guy that used to make these I'm pretty sure he still makes them but he hasn't posted on YouTube for a long time. Uh, his name was Crazy Legs, so if you Google Crazy Legs Ants or search for Crazy Legs Ants, you should be able to find the nests that he makes, and they're really, really awesome nests. So they're made out of that porous concrete, they've got little ports that you can put water in, and the water comes through. There is actually mesh underneath that pile of eggs, so that's where the humidity is. So that's why they've got their little eggs there, and not many eggs in the rest, and all these little chambers are connected. There's ports with little tubes and the tubes are going out and in and all over the place. Yeah, I've got another one obviously stuck with blue tack there. Oh, yep, we're going well. They don't get through that though, which is a good thing. I've only had the ants escape once or twice and that was not fun. <laughs> because now I'm an expert at picking up ants without hurting them because they are my pets. Now, if we come around this side... Yeah, there's a bit of humidity in here because what they do with all this sand is they actually pile it up on top of that, which is their little air vent port thing. If I open that up and that's mesh. Yeah, so they pile that up to increase the humidity in here. So they sort of know what levels of humidity they want. Kind of smart little thing. So they're not just boring ants that, you know, you go, why would you keep ants? The whole colony acts as one animal, which is absolutely crazy. And I don't think we can see the queen because not only have we got these nests here, there are tons of eggs, by the way. Now these produce thousands and thousands and thousands of workers. I think you can get up to like 500,000, probably more in a big colony. So I'm gonna keep extending this colony as they get bigger. But at the moment it takes up that shelf there. There's a couple of nests there. There's a whole lot of pipes for them to play around with and stuff like that. And they've got eggs in random areas like in that pipe there and a whole heap there. 
because there's different humidity for different sort of different eggs i suppose well different stages of eggs and larvae so if there's too much humidity there they're going to move the eggs there if there's not enough they're going to move them over there and so on and so on so it gets a little bit ridiculous with where they have eggs now these are all 3d printed nests as well and there are tons of eggs in here as well so those ones are almost ants you can actually see if we can get rid of the reflection they almost look like little ants so that is obviously the ideal area right there under the light for heat and humidity for them to develop and again we've got them in the next one along yeah that's the new generation of baby ant workers yes why would you keep ants well they're kind of cool they're interesting and they're forever doing stuff I do have a few other different species of ants and they'll be in future videos but these are the meat ants and yeah, they are probably one of the fastest growing ants you can get. Obviously they're Australian native and we can only keep Australian native ants in Australia, but you can buy queens where this one just started, this colony just started as one queen about two years, maybe two and a half years ago. And then she produced a few eggs, a few workers, and then she just went crazy from there. So yeah, the queens can live anything from like seven to 20 years. There's been reports of 40 years, but I'm not too sure if they are actually the same species. Yeah, time will tell, I suppose. But yeah, crazy little things. They do bite. If they do come out, they will bite. <laughs> How I feed them is I've got little ports and things like that. Oh no, look, they are out. Don't, don't, don't come out, go back in. <laughs> okay, and there is one on me now. He will, well, she will bite once she finds something to bite onto. Let me put the camera down and catch my pet ant. Okay, I have her, and I'm going to place her up there. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, she, there she goes. She's got six legs. She holds on real well. Now, that's pretty much going to tell all the other ants that something has happened. So... They release a little pheromone and that makes them all go absolutely crazy. Yep. So they're going, what's happened? What's happened? <laughs> Who picked you up from where? How did you get here? Yeah. Sort of like alien abduction, but with ants, I suppose. She was quite happily in there with her water and her food. She can end up going all the way up through the cords, well, the pipes, and end up through there and then into there. But magically, she is in there, so yeah, she's going to freak everyone out, which they are completely freaking out right now. Yeah. She didn't bite me, but yeah, the problem with this and this white stuff on top, supposed to stop the ants from climbing on it, but every now and then, like that one there, they're going to climb on it. So yeah, open up the top and a few ants will come out. <laughs> Anyway, yes, that's where we are with our ants. There are so many little tiny larvae in a whole lot of the pipes. Look at that. There's more in there. And all these pipes obviously connect everywhere. So they've got a fair bit of room to sort of just run around and do their ant thing. But as I said, I'm going to extend it. So I think what I might do with all these Lego boxes up here is move all them away and put a big tank up here so they'll have a bigger area to forage in might give them some plants to destroy and stuff like that they don't eat plants but they do tend to break stuff down and yeah maybe give them some different size gravel and rocks and bits and pieces to play with and yeah see how big we can get this colony anyway if you did enjoy this ant video click the thumbs up because not many people like ant videos it seems. I'm sure there's people out there that find it kind of interesting and weird. If you've got any questions, comment down below. Queen ants, I do sell random ones. Haven't got any meat ants, but a queen is around about $60 Australian. And yeah, takes them a couple of years to end up into a huge colony like this. There's different species like your sugar ants and a few other different types. They don't grow nearly as fast in numbers. And down the bottom here, I have a few little colonies in these tanks. I'll go through those in a future video. But yeah, they um, same age and there's only probably about 30 or 40 ants. I know, kind of crazy, but 
That's the wonders of keeping ants, I suppose. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thanks heaps to all my members. If you want to become a channel member, click the channel membery thing down below and you get extra videos and discounts. Anyway, see you then.